All right. Well, that is a member of an all-youth cast in North Texas rehearsing for their production of The Wiz Jr. That opens next weekend. Their theater camp was organized by the Dallas-based nonprofit Arts Vision. You know, a new study from Parents Magazine actually shows that there are several benefits of introducing your child to the theater. It's not just entertainment. Theater is more creative. It allows your child to be better communicators, and it's healthier for children. Uh, joining us this morning is Fran Jeffrey Anderson the artistic director of Arts Vision, and Juliana Gambino playing Dorothy in The Wiz Junior. You look really cute there, too. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Let's get Good morning. Here. Yes, yes, okay, yes. So tell us about Arts Vision and this uh, musical that you guys got coming up. Yeah, so this is our 10th year, actually, wow. for Arts Vision. And I can't even believe it's been 10 years yeah. already, which is great. Um, but yeah, so we're uh, the, the kiddos last year, we were going to do a review because it was our 10th anniversary, mm -hmm. but we're not able to be in what we call our home at Booker T I get this it. year. So we're going to hopefully do that next year. And so we were like trying to figure out what else could we do? And we did the Wiz during the pandemic virtually. Mm -hmm. And so the kids says, let's do the Wiz live. Oh. So that's how we're, we're doing the Wiz this year. So we're really excited. Okay, see, I love that this is like <laughs> a summer theater yeah. camp, right? Yes. Have you enjoyed this camp? You're gonna be playing the lead role, Dorothy. Yes, it's very exciting. Um, this is my fourth year. It's, yeah. Way to go. It's a great experience. What do you love about this summer theater camp? Um, I love that I get to work with a lot of the kids that I'm very familiar with. Like, um, and the teachers, the mm -hmm. directors, Miss Fran, she's, yeah, they're great to work with. That is awesome. Now, tell us about this in camp, this camp, because it is kind of intensive, really. It is. It's an intensive <laughs> camp. So in two weeks, we put up a show. Ooh. Um, we actually start a little bit earlier. We have auditions, um, and the kiddos uh, audition for their part. We have virtual table reads, and, um, and so the kids come in almost knowing what they're supposed to do. So oh, wow. before the camp, about two weeks before the camp, they know their part pretty much. Mm -hmm. The principals have already been chosen. Um, we already kind of have the dance chorus, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And so when the kids get here, they're ready to run. Wow. And then the ones who aren't, like the new kids or kids who haven't had a chance to audition, we just roll them right in when we get there. I mean, what do you think are the, the benefits of a camp like this? Well, I mean, the kids come in, some of them come in and they're just like, hey, we're theater. What do, what do you want us to do? Mm -hmm. What do you want us to do? We want to play ukulele. We want to play <laughs> drums. Uh, we want to do this and that, you know, things that they want to do. Mm -hmm. And we call them specialty classes. So we've got that. And whatever teachers we have, it might have been guitar, whatever. So they do that, which they love. But then there are kids who are, some of them come because my mama made me come. You know, you always have those kids. Yeah. I, but the kids come ready. And then some of them come and they have really um, difficult things going on in their lives, mm -hmm. difficult things going on at home. And then the arts vision magic sets in. And at that point, how do we love on them? And then that's what we do. Could be uh, we a have a big old teddy too. bear, you know, at the front desk. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they just have a bad day. We just say, go hug the bear. And they'll sit. It's a great big old big old teddy bear and uh, this lady from the church lets us borrow and so um, they go and they sit and they do that they just hug the bear and then when they feel better they go back in so the basic is you know we don't have time for them not to be there if they get in into some issues and need a moment yeah we like walk them up, let them have their moment, and get back in there. I love we that. Do it. I love that. And, and two weeks to put on a production. Two weeks. Two well, weeks. thank you so much uh, for joining us here on Daybreak. Thank you. And we're going to get thank that information you. out there. Ten years you guys Ten years. have been doing Ten this. Years. So let's put that information out there for the show that's coming up. The musical will be performed at the Rotunda Theater at First Unitas Methodist Church. They're usually at Booker T, but this year you're at the church. And that's in downtown Dallas. It is a week from today, July 22nd. Go ahead and support them. And there are two shows at 2 o'clock and then 4.30. Right. General admission tickets are about 15 bucks, which really helps the organization. And you can go to Eventbrite to get yours. And we'll be right back Take after this. Me. You guys are doing a lot. Thank you.